There was a poor young woman who had a dream. In her dream, she saw herself counting lots and lots of money. It was like a treasure. When she woke up, she realized it was only a dream. She felt a little sad because she wondered, why was I counting money in my dream? Does that mean I will be rich someday? But soon, she forgot about it and went on with her life. Little did she know, something special had happened. God had given her a hint about her future. God knew that one day she would become rich, but she didn't know it yet. Then, one day, her friend told her about a business opportunity. She decided to give it a try and worked very hard for many years. She put in a lot of effort and dedication. Guess what? Her hard work paid off. She became successful and rich through the business she started. She was so happy and proud of herself. One day, while she was resting on a cozy couch in a peaceful place, she began to think about how she had become so successful. She started to remember the dream she had many years ago, the dream where she was counting money. Suddenly, it all made sense to her. She realized that God had given her a sign through that dream. It was like a secret message, telling her that one day she would become rich. It was a wonderful surprise. This story teaches us that sometimes, dreams can be like messages from God. They can show us what might happen in the future. It's like a little clue that only we can understand. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, thank you for yet another opportunity to be illuminated and enlightened through your word. Lord, I pray that you once again send us your word, even as the Bible says in Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word, healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Lord, send us your word again to heal us, deliver us, enlighten us, and heal and deliver us from every manipulation of the evil one. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Evil dreams usually emanate from the devil, while God can and does give messages or instructions through dreams. That therefore means that dreams are an avenue of contact or communication with the spirit realms or the dream realms. And because the physical realms are slaves or servants to the spirit realms, there are chances of manipulating things in the realms of dreams, which will inadvertently affect our physical reality. And the devil, the master tricker, is aware of this reality and uses dreams to manipulate people. Although it is not only the devil that uses dreams. Dreaming is not Satan's invention or his exclusive preserved channel. No. God can also reach out to us by dreams. God can also come to us or give us messages, instructions, or guidelines through dreams. In Joel chapter 2, verse 28, God says. After this, I will pour out my spirit on all humanity. Then your sons and your daughters will prophesy, your old men will have dreams. And your young men will see visions. And prior to and after this, God has used dreams to communicate with people about his will and to give them messages. For instance, in Genesis 31 verse 11, the Bible says, in that dream, the angel of God said to me, Jacob. And I said, Here I am. And in Matthew chapter 2, verse 19, talking about God communicating with us through dreams, the Bible says. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeareth in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. And in the case of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37, from verses 5 to 10, the Bible says. Now Joseph had a dream, and he told it to his brothers, and they hated him even more. So he said to them, Please hear this dream which I have dreamed. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Then behold, my sheaf arose and also stood upright, and indeed your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. 
And his brothers said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Verses 9 Then he dreamed still another dream and told it to his brothers, and said, Look, I have dreamed another dream. And this time, the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bowed down to me. So he told it to his father and his brothers, and his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the earth before you? So all of the foregoing happened in dreams, showing that God uses dreams for our benefit rather than the devil's tendencies of manipulation through dreams. And worthy of note is that God uses dreams to give us a message, but the devil uses dreams as a tool of manipulations, in accordance with his threefold mission, according to John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. So the devil has constantly used whatever tools he has to accomplish this mission, including dreams. But as I pray with you this moment, every misfortune that has come upon you via the devil's manipulation through dreams shall be lifted from you and cast into the abyss. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Dear Everlasting Father, King of Glory, thank you for your love, goodness, and kindness toward us. Thank you, dearest heaven, for the victory you have obtained for us with your blood, which you shared for our victory and redemption. Thank you dearest Lord, for vesting us with the powers to defeat the devil and dismantle his works. Even as the scripture makes it clear in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, that we have already overcome the devil, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And in 1 John chapter 3, Verse 8, it says that for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Therefore by the power and authority of God bestowed on us, I dethrone every satanic altar manipulation in Jesus' name. I cancel every negative verdict against all my listeners in the name of Jesus Christ. I annul every satanic orchestration through dreams that affects anyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I revoke and reverse every misfortune and cause, and I declare and pronounce blessing upon everyone under my voice. In Jesus' name. Thank you dearest Heavenly Father, for answering, for with thanksgiving I pray, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. We are so happy that you're here with us today. We really want to know about the amazing things our Lord has done for you or someone you know. It could be something that made your heart feel warm and full of joy. You can share your story in the comments below, where other friends who love Jesus will see it too. By sharing your story, you can inspire other Christian friends to be strong and pray with all their hearts. And remember, our Lord loves to bless us abundantly. May he pour out his special blessings on you and your loved ones. Amen.